first problem is the one way slip. If the problem didn't say it's one way slab, you can figure it out. How? The uh, beam spacing is 18 feet. Given here. And the beam length L beam is 50. Oh, we have confused. No, no, uh, the beam spacing is uh, 18, not 20. 18. And the beam spacing is 50 feet. So if you divide longer, divide shorter, so 50, divide 18, I think it's greater than 2. So it's one way slip. Do you think the thickness is given? No. So we have, we need to figure out what is the thickness. Guys, I'm looking for what is the thickness here for this panel? What is the thickness here for this panel? Let's try if you open your modules for one way slab, one way slab. Uh, we have, we don't have simply supported. We don't have simply supported. We have one end continuous, yes, L divide 24. L divide 24 this is band is continuous from this end only we have another panel with both ends continuous l divide 28 so this one will be l divide 28 because this ban uh, panel is continuous from this side and this side do you have cantilever make sure do you have a cantilever no we don't have we don't have cantilever here so which l which L? What is the value of L? L is the longer span. Longer span. So we have two spans for each panel. One is 50 and one is 18. So I'm going to use 50. So 50 times 12 divide 24. This one will be 50 divide 12 to be an inch divide 28. So what do you think? 50 times 12 divide 24. This one will be 20. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. The longer direction, which is the main direction, not the, the longest direction. So it will be 18. 18. It will be a huge. Uh, 18 times 12 divide 24. It will be 9 inch. This one, 18 times 12. Divide 28, it will be 7.7 .7 inch. So the final decision, I'm going to use H for this slab will be 9 inch for the whole slab. So guys, your span L is the shortest span. If you are talking about one way, actually it's not the shortest span, it's the main span. Your main span here is 18. Okay. Longest span in two way, not in one way. Any question so far? Okay. Dr. Did you? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, bro. Uh, can you um 
can you explain what do you mean by main main span what do you what do you which one is main span okay perfect good question let's go back here one way slab one way slab means if you are sitting here what is the direction of your load to transfer to be transferred to supports your load will move in this direction and will be moved in this direction to be supported by this support and this support that's right so this direction will be your main spin in other meaning it will be the shortest spin if you are talking about one way so what will happen for the other spin nothing nothing here nothing in this direction nothing in this direction so for two for one way slab we have one direction called main direction shortest direction main steel reinforcement and the other direction is nothing i will put minimum reinforcement i will not pay attention to this direction i for, i will forget it so for this case your main span will be in this direction which is the shortest direction if you are sitting at this location your load will be moved to this side and this side that's it so your span l will be 18 inch uh, i'm sorry 18 feet this span will be used to figure out which thickness I'm gonna use did loot or let's start with on weight on weight of a slab will be the thickness inch divide 12 to be in feet time gamma concrete which is 150 so your own weight will be 9 divide 12 by 150 it will be 112.5 bound per square feet guys it's given here we have dead load which is sober imposed dead load and we have life load 110 so your dead load as a total will be this value on weight plus Sober imposed did load, which is 10. Your value will be 122.5 bound bare square feet. Your life load is given 100 bound bare square feet. You don't need to figure it out. You don't need to open the table to figure out the life load. It's a given. So guys, your W ultimate, which equal 1.2 did load, plus 1.6 life load, I can figure this value. Three hundred seven bound bare square feet. That makes sense. Next step. Anybody remember what was the next step for one way slab? Do you remember? After I figured out the value of W ultimate, do you remember what was the next step? You cannot remember? Mm. Before Oliver, before M ultimate. Before getting a moment, before drawing bending moment diagram, I need to take one strip. Thank you, Alex. Yes. I need to take a strip. One strip in the main direction. In the shortest direction. And this strip with unit width. 
one feet or twelve inch for two for one way slab after you figured out the ultimate load as bound per cubic per square feet we need to take a strip one strip with unit width in the shortest direction or in the main direction of the one way slab this strip with one two three four spans so we have strip supported here supported here supported here supported here and supported here one two three four spans and the distance between each support how much 18 feet and this unit width with this strip with unit width will have uniform distributed load how much this one three zero seven bound bare foot it's very square foot yeah i know but i i multiply this value time strip width i multiply this value of load per uh, surface area i multiply it by the the, the width of the strip what was the, the 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 width of the strip it's it was one feet so i multiply this value by one so it will be 307 but bound per foot can can i draw bending moment right now yes you can yeah we have negative here we have negative we have positive, we have negative, we have positive, we have negative, we have negative, we have negative, we have negative, we have positive, we have positive, we have negative. Do you remember the values? Yeah, if you go back to this one, because we have more than two spans. So the edge spans, W square divide 24, divide 14, divide 10. So this one will be WL square divide 24. WL squared divide 10, WL squared divide uh, 14, I think 14. Yeah, this one will be 16 and 11. WL squared divide 16, WL squared divide 11, WL squared divide 11, WL squared divide 11, WL squared divide 16, WL squared divide 11. Hey, this panel is edge panel. This one is edge panel also at the edge at the end so we have the same values wl square divide 14 wl square divide 10 wl square divide 24. so guys can you figure out these values i think you can so 307 time l which is 18 square divide 14 this value will be 7104. This one will be 62116. This one will be. No, wait, wait, wait. 307, 18 square, divide 11. Okay, 9,042. Anyway, so please go ahead and figure out all of these values. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, for slabs, it's different than beams. So I'm going to use the maximum value of moment. Only one value, one value. I don't need to use each value to figure out each reinforcement at each location. For beams, yes, but for a slab, no. 
I'm gonna use the maximum value. This one is 7,000, 6,000, this one is 9,000. So I'm gonna use M ultimate divide phi B D square. Your moment will be 9,042. Don't forget to multiply it by 12. Do you remember why? Because this value must be bound inch. This value is bound foot. Because your load is bound bare foot. Your moment will be bound foot. So I'm going to multiply it by 12 to be bound inch. Fay going to 9. B. Do you remember what is the value of B? Width. Width of what? Width of what? One strip. Width of strip, which is 12 inch. Your depth. Wow, we forget it. The thickness is 9. I'm going to assume 2 inch cover. So my depth will be 7 inch. That's fine. So your depth will be 7 square. So I can figure out this value. So I can go to the table to figure out the value of rho. Let's do it. Let's do it. 9, 0, 4, 2, time 12. Divide point to 9, time 12, times 7 square. This value would be 205. I am gonna to open a table. Until opening the table, what was the F prime C? 5,060,000. So I'm gonna open the tables for 5,000. 5,000. I hope we have it. Probably not. 3,000, 4,000. Yeah, we don't have it. Anyway, to make it easy, assume this one is 4,000, not 5,000. 4,000. That's fine. Actually, we can do uh, for 5,000 manual with hand calculation but uh, we don't have time so 60 4, 000, and your value is 205 205 so i think you are here 205 looks like this one so your value will be 0.0036 row 0.0036 row Okay, so rho equal area steel divide B time depth. B is 12 inch, depth is 7. So I can figure out the area steel how much? 0 0.0036 time 12 times 7 equal 0 0.3024 inch square per foot. Why per foot? Because all of these calculations for one strip and this strip with unit width. So everything you did per unit width, barefoot. Please go ahead and check area steel minimum. You have a value for area steel minimum, I believe. Do you remember that? Here you go. Your area steel is equal 60,000. So I'm going to take this value or this value, 0 0.0018 or 0 0.0014. I believe your value will be bigger. This one will be bigger. So area steel minimum will be okay. Don't worry. If you checked it, do you remember how can I convert this value of area steel to? size of bar and what is the spacing do you remember for a slab slab is different than beam beam we need only how many bars that's it for slabs no we need to convert this area steel to what is the size and what is the spacing between these bars i told you last time we have another table that's right yes 
we have another table here if you go back Not this one yes this one this one to figure out what is the size spacing for slabs what is your value 0 0.3024 actually you have many options let's start 0.3 0 0.30 0 .30. i think this one can work So if you select this option, that means bar number four, every 7.5 inch. That's right. Or if you don't like it, or you can use this option. Number five, bar number five, every 12 inch. If you don't like, we have another option. Probably this one can work. Bar number three every four inch. It's up to you. It's up to you. But make sure the selected value greater than or equal your required value of area steel. So my decision, I believe this one will be good. Why? Because if you select this one, we will have crowded number of bars every four inch. If you are using this one, mm, we will have very, very little number every 12 inch. But this one will be good. So my decision is number four every 7.5. So the design of this slab will be like this. In this direction, I'm going to put bars number four, every 7.5 inch. One of you will ask me a good question. What is the reinforcement for this slab in this direction? Minimum. Minimum. Your minimum value, I believe, it will be 0 0.0018. Area steel minimum will be 0 0.0018 area gross. 0 0.0018 area gross, which is 9 times 12. How much? 0 0.1944 inch square bare foot because i used one strip uh, strip with unit width anyway so how can i convert this minimum area steel to what is the size and uh, what is the spacing okay your value is 1.19 so i'm gonna open my table 0 0.19 uh, probably probably this one or this one but i highly recommend uh, just for construction to make it more easy to use the same bar size so you used here you used here number four i highly recommend to use number four but the spacing will be different to make it easy for the contractor to buy reinforcement anyway so I'm going to use 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Probably I'm going to use this one. So every 12 inch. So my final decision, I'm going to put here reinforcement number four also, but every 12 inch. This is your design of this slip. This is the design of the slip. Also, the problem asking to design uh, beams, but forget it right now. We are focusing on slip. So, guys, do you have any question for how to design one-way slab? It's very easy. Very easy. You need to check first. You, we know, we know. This one is one-way slab, but uh, in normal life, you need to check if this slab is one-way or two-way. Then you need to figure out which thickness I'm going to use. Then what is the own weight? 
what is the dead load, what is the life load, what is the ultimate load. Then take a strip with unit width. With this load, you can draw your bending moment diagram. For a slab, we recommend to use the maximum value of moment and use this value only. Don't try to design for each one because you will make a mess of calculations. Um, based on this moment, I can figure out the value of row, the value of area steel. Please make sure you check this area steel with the minimum. For the main direction, which is the shortest direction, is your area steel based on your calculation. On the other direction, which is the secondary direction or the longest direction, you will put minimum reinforcement. What depth would they use for the area steel minimum? Alex, uh, it's a good question, but if you open this module one more time, area steel minimum is a function for something called area gross. Area gross means the whole cross section of the strip, the total thickness times the width of this strip. So I used H equal nine to check your area steel minimum. I used area gross, the total cross section, which is the total thickness time width. But once you get row from the table, this row equal area steel divide B time depth. Your depth is seven. So we have a difference here. We have a big difference between this value and this value. Alex, you got it? Your question is great, but not in one-way slab. Because one-way slab, this reinforcement is nothing for me. This reinforcement just for minimum, just for fun. Because I cannot put only one direction. I have to put the other direction. So this reinforcement is nothing for me. So based on the minimum, I'm going to use area gross your question is fantastic your question is very important your question confused many engineers if you are talking about two-way slip because the depth here will be different than here it will be different okay so let me explain it in two-way slip okay but your question is is good we have many discussions re related to your question with another engineers. Anyway, so second question in the homework. We have two-way slab without beams. We have two-way slabs without beam. So we need to design it. If you would like to check is it one way or two way, longer divide shorter, smaller than Two, I believe longer divide shorter equal one because we don't have longer, we don't have shorter. Both of them equal 22 and the 22. So this one is one is two way slip without beams. Without what? Without beams. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna design X direction. only why because y direction will be the same 
Yeah, they are equal. X direction equal Y direction. So I'm gonna design X direction only. Do you remember what is the first step in two ways left? Check. Yeah, check. Longer, divide shorter, 22, divide 22, equal 1. So it's just smaller than 2, two-way slip. Second one, thickness. Thickness of a slip. Uh, We have without interior panels. Your slab, in this case, without interior, uh, I'm sorry, without interior beams. My question is, do you have drop panel? No, we don't have drop panel. Do you remember the drop panel? Do you remember it? We don't have here drop panel. No, we don't have. So, without drop panel. Do you have edge beams? Do you have beams at the edge? No, we don't have beams. We don't have beams at all. So, without drop panel, without edge beam for the exterior panel, your F yield, what is the value of F yield? Is it given? Yeah, 60,000. So, Without drop panel, without edge beam, F yield 60,000, L divide 30. This one, L divide 30. This one, L divide 30. This one, L divide 30. I'm talking about edge panel, exterior panel, the panel at the edge of the slab. So without drop panel, exterior panel, without edge beam, if yield 60,000, your value will be LN divide 30. LN. In. In. Okay. If you are talking about interior panel, if yield 60,000, so you are talking about LN divide 33. This one only. Because this one considered edge, this one edge, this one edge, this one edge, this one edge. Edge means at the edge, at the end of the slip. This one is interior. The only interior panel. Anybody can tell me what is the value of LN? LN means clear span. Longer. Clear span. in the panel but you are lucky for this slab we don't have longer we don't have shorter because both of them are equal the column dimension is 18 so what is the clear distance between this column or this column and this column do you know what is the clear distance this is the value of ln clear distance will be the total distance center line to center line minus one column dimension which is 18 inch divide 12. so it will be 22 minus 18 divide 12. 20.5 feet guys from this center line to this center line it's a 22. if you subtract half this distance of the column and they have this distance of the column that means i subtracted the whole distance of the column 18. i divided it by 12 to make it in feet so i can subtract feet minus feet so the final value will be feet so ln divide 33 how much ln divide 30 how much this one will be 20.5 times 12 divide 33.
7.5 inch. This one, 20.5 times 12. Divide 30. How much? 8.2 inch. My final decision H for this slab, probably 8.5, probably 9, probably 10. That's fine. This one is okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. But please don't go below these values. So I'm going to use 8.5. Will be good. Weight on weight of the slab. This thickness divide 12 times 150. Sober imposed did loot. What is the value? Is it given? Yes, yes, 25. Life loot is given. No, it's not given. But we have multi story office building. So I'm going to open my table for life load and look to office building. Where is office? Yes, office building, office use, the life load will be 50. So your life load will be 50. Bound bare square feet, and the own weight will be 8.5 divided 12 times 150. It will be 106.25. So, guys, your W ultimate, which is equal Q ultimate, just uh, symbols only, names, equal 1.2 dead loot plus 1.6 life loot. 1.2, your dead loot is. 106.25 plus 25 life load is 50. Your value of W ultimate will be 237.5 bound bare square feet. If you would like, if we can convert it to 0.2375 keb per foot square to make your number smaller. Any questions so far? It's very easy. I didn't uh, do anything more than two way. Just to check thickness and on weight, sober imposed dead load, life load, and the W ultimate. Second step. Do you remember we need to figure out this value? M ultimate, uh, I'm sorry, M naught equal Q ultimate L2 LN square divide 8. So M naught equal Q ultimate uh, L2 LN square divide 8. That's right. Yeah. What is the value of Q ultimate? It's the same value like W ultimate. Just symbols, just, just names, labels. L2 and LN. LN 22 will be the total distance 22 by the way to make it more clear so sometimes this slab will be with different dimension i'm talking about x direction 
So I mean this direction. That's right. So LN right now is this clear distance. L2 right now is this this distance from this center line to this center line. So we have 11 from this side and 11 from the other side. So this distance will be 22 feet. Ln equal 20.5. So your value will be 0.2375 Q alpha. L2 22 feet. Ln 20.5 feet square. Divide 8. This value will be 0.2375 time 22 time 20.5 square divide it 274.5 keb foot any questions so far actually we didn't do anything just we used this value this expression to figure out the value of total moment Any questions so far? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, please pay attention to me. Please pay attention to me. This moment, as a first step, will be divided. How, how many, how, how many spans we have? One span, two span, three spans to be more clear, three spans, like this. This total moment, this total moment will be divided between negative moment and the positive moment. Negative moment and the positive moment negative moment and the positive moment how by this slide distribution of the total moment between positive and the negative value for interior is been Guys, this is ban is interior. This is ban is exterior. This is ban is exterior. Exterior means the edge, edge is ban. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I'm talking about something different. Sometimes your is ban. looks like this we have many 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 spans okay so this one is exterior the last one will be exterior this one and this one and this one and this one will be interior okay okay based on this slide let's start with the interior Span. Your negative moment will be 0.65 m naught. Negative. So this one will be 0.65 m naught. 0.65 m naught. And the positive value will be 0.35. This one will be 0.35 m naught. For exterior spans, we are going to use this table. For end span, we are going to use this table. Here is the end span. Interior negative means this one. 
this one called interior negative. Positive, this one, positive. Exterior negative, this one. Exterior negative. So this one, this one, and this one. Which values I'm gonna use? Okay, go ahead and select. Do you have beams? slabs without beams do you have edge beam no we don't have edge at all so without edge beam so i'm gonna use these values without edge beam 0 0.7 0 0.52 point 0.26 Slab without beams between interior support without edge beam. So I'm gonna use these values to distribute the total moment. So 0 0.26, 0 0.26 in minute, uh, 0.52 in minute, 0.7. A minute guys these values will be the same here because this one is exterior panel also a minute point 52 a minute point uh, 26 a minute any questions so far so first step after you calculated the total moment first step we need to distribute a minute between positive and the negative moment only. Go ahead to figure out these values. So point two six time two hundred seventy four point five. This one will be seventy one. 0.4 point 0.52 time 274.5 this one will be 142.7 point 0.35 point time 274.5 this one will be 96.1 point 0.65 point time 274.5 this one will be 178.4 this one will be 0 0.7 time 274.5, 192.15. This one will be the same. The same. The same. And the same. Do you have any question right now? Guys, do you have any question so far? It's very easy. Just once you calculate your ultimate load, we calculated total, total moment in minute. We need to distribute this in minute between positive and the negative. For interior, it's very easy. Interior, 0 0.35 for positive, 0 0.65 for negative. For exterior barrel, we need to go back to this little table to figure out which case you are using most of the time slab without beans without edge beam this or these values this one is the, is the interior negative this one is the exterior negative this one is the positive all of this stuff for end span end panel do you have any questions so far okay Next step, we need to distribute this moment 
which is positive and negative to figure out what is the moment on the column strip. Guys, last meeting I told you your slab will be divided to something called column strip and the one called middle strip. We are in this case right now. We need to figure out what is the moment on column strip. I believe the next step will be what is the moment on middle strip. Your moment on the column strip will be the same shape. Negative, negative, positive, negative, 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 positive, and positive. How can I do divide or how can I distribute this positive and the negative moment to be column strip? moment using this is slide factor the moment in column strip if you are talking about portion of interior negative exterior negative and positive moment This one for the positive moment. Let's start with the positive moment. Let's start with the positive moment, which is this value, this value, and this value. We, we don't have beam. This one without beam. Longer, divide shorter, is one. So your factor will be 0.6. So we have here 0.6. Time what? Time what? This positive moment, which is 142.7. This one, 0.6. Time what? 96.1 this one 0.6 time what 142.7 distribution of moment for column strip this table i'm gonna start with the positive moment this table for positive moment. The first values for without edge beam, without edge beam. Uh, L2 divide L1 is one. 22 divide 22 is one. So your factor will be 0.6. If you are talking about interior negative moment, interior like this one, like this one, like this one uh, i'm sorry interior this one and this one what is the factor you are talking about this case without zero means without edge beam if you have edge beam you are going to use the second one without edge beam l2 divide l1 is one so your factor will be 0.75 so we have here point seven five of what this side 178.4 will give you this side if you multiply 0.75 time this value 192.15 you are going to use or to get this value
and this one also 0 0.75. Just multiply these values, these values by 0 0.75, you can get these values and these values. Exterior negative. Exterior means at the end. So we are going to use exterior negative values for this table without beam zero beta t zero without edge beam l2 divide l1 is one so your factor will be one one time this value 71.4 one time 71.4 guys if you would like to make sure what is the value here it will be 0 0.75 time 192.15 what is the value here 0 0.75 time 178.4 and so on What is the value 0 0.6 times 1.42.7? The value here will be 85.62. The value here will be 57.67. This one will be 85.62. This value will be 71.4, 71.4. This value will be 144 divide 11. This 1.75 times 178.4. This one will be 133.8. 133.8. This value 144.11. Any question so far? Any question so far? So guys, after I calculated the total moment, I distributed it between positive and the negative. The positive and the negative distributed to column strip. Middle strip will be total moment in negative and the positive values minus column strip. What you mean? I mean, if you are looking to this value, this value will be 71.4 minus 71.4 is zero. We don't have moment here. If you are looking for what is the positive value here, 142.8. Minus 85.62. Your final answer here will be 57.1. This negative moment will be. Negative moment here, which is 192.15 minus. Value here, 144.11. Your answer here will be 48. What is the negative moment here? 178.5 minus 133.8 equal 44.7. And what is the positive moment here? 96.5. Point six six equal thirty eight point four four zero fifty seven point one forty eight forty four point seven. Here is the middle strip, here is the column strip.
For column strip, what is the maximum moment? Divide phi b d square. What is the row? What is the area steel for column strip? For middle strip, what is the maximum moment? Divide phi b d square. What is the value of row? What is the value of area steel? I can convert this area steel to what is the size and the spacing. I can convert this area steel to what is the size and the spacing. That's right. Last step. Don't forget to divide this slab. Where is the column strip and where is the middle strip? Do you remember? Column strip. Column strip. Column strip. Column strip. This column strip. This one. Do you remember what is the distance in this side? L1 divide uh, 4 or L2 divide 4. What is wh which one is smaller? Or I'm sorry, point 25 L1 or point 25 L2. So L2 and or L1 is 22 divide 4. It will be 5.5. .5, so the total width here will be 11. So this this strip, which you called column strip with width 11 feet, 5.5 .5 and the 5.5 .5 from the other side will be reinforced with steel reinforcement. How much? This one. So all of the column strip, this one and this one and this one and this one will be designed, will be reinforced with the steel reinforcement that you got from design of column strip, this one. We have middle strip in between this one. This middle strip, how much the width, you can figure it out. 5.5 from this one, 5.5 from this one, so the remaining one will be 11, I think. Anyway, the steel reinforcement in this strip will be the design reinforcement for middle strip. So right now, I am done with the steel reinforcement for column strip and the middle strip in what? In what? X direction. You are lucky because the lens of an X direction equals the lens on Y direction. If you have different lenses, you have to repeat all of these calculations starting from M minute, distribution between positive and the negative, distribution between column strip and the middle strip one more time to figure out the steel reinforcement in the y direction but in this problem your x direction exactly the same like y direction do you think design of a slab is easy No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> no, guys, no, for a slab, slab, it's, uh, it's so bad, I know. This is the reason why we are using software. Software will make this design in just few seconds. Few seconds, I can tell you 
which reinforcement it will be more interesting so wait for me until the end of the semester but by the way for your exam no we can expect problem like that but it's without more details probably i will ask you hey for this plan go ahead and uh, uh, sketch where is the column strip and where is the field strip or middle strip probably i will ask you hey can you check this slab is one way or two way hey can you check what is the thickness of this slab you know i will not ask you for a complete design like this i know it's complicated and for me also i confuse between all of these numbers but uh, just in case if you need them in the future because sometimes during the exams of professional engineer probably he will give you this plan and ask you what is the value of moment at this column strip at this location so you need to do all of this calculation in your mind to give him final answer for what is the moment at the column strip at the middle where is the column strip here you go it will be 57.66 okay piece of cake okay guys uh, the second problem in the homework is the same also but uh, it's the 22 and this one is 17.5 so we have to do x direction and y direction so solve as much as you can i will accept your homework but at least show me you did some work okay don't say hey dr ayman say blah 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 no just uh, do as much as you can for this problem this problem you have to solve it one for x direction and one for y direction because we have two different lenses but uh, at least do one one of them only okay and that's it so you have right now question number one and question number two so please go ahead and think about question number three 